90 to 95% of liver transplants in the United States are cadaveric. So very few centers are doing live donor transplant, and those that are, are doing not, not a lot. When you go through something um, where a, a well person is gonna put their life at risk for someone to live, you wanna be doing that at a place who does it a lot. You wanna go to the place that does it the most. UPMC transplant program has a very long tradition of taking care of patients who are traveling here from different parts of the country and in fact from different parts of the world. And the program is very used to coordinating care with local physicians, whether it's primary care physicians or referring gastroenterologists or transplant hepatologists. When you send a patient to us, um, we're really looking to help you provide the best quality of life for your patients longitudinally. That involves us constantly communicating back to the referring physician in regards to what is it we think um, is best for the patient at that time. We make every effort once the patient gets the transplant here at UPMC that their care is smoothly transitioned back to their local teams. And of course, the team here is available to take care of patients should there be a problem or if there are any questions that the local physicians may have for us. We realize that there is an important relationship with the referring provider and um, the patient and ourselves and making sure that we kind of surround each individual patient with wraparound care, meaning primary care, GI hepatology care in the community, and transplant care I think is something that, that, it, that is paramount to the success of um, patients long term.